today is another Talk Tuesday. Today's story is going to be about my first boyfriend. Um, and I'm saying boyfriend, like first boyfriend, because I don't necessarily think this counts and I'll explain why once I explain the story. Or maybe you guys will get why I kind of don't think it's like should be considered my first boyfriend. Okay, so let's get on to the story. So I think I was about 13, 14 maybe? Um, I had a best friend um, and we would go, um, our parents and her parents were like on this thing and so they would have meetings at my best friend's house and so we would go there and we would just like hang out with my friend. Um, so I think one time her cousin um, went to this meeting and I, I already knew him. Um, I had met him a long time ago so I knew who this kid was. Um, so I decided, um, or I guess, I don't know how this works, but I had been wanting a boyfriend, not necessarily knowing what a boyfriend was. It was mainly just because my aunt and my cousins would always be talking about their boyfriends. And I always wanted to fit in with them, so I decided I would get myself a boyfriend, right? Genius idea. So, um, so it wasn't really to have a boyfriend, it was more just to fit in. And again, I was a lot younger. So I, I had seen this, this person, we're gonna call him Johnny. So literally, this is I, how, what I remember happened. So we were playing in, or we were just hanging out in my, in my best friend's garage, I was gonna call her my cousin, but in my best friend's garage, and for some reason I was very demanding and I was like do you like me and then I don't remember I think he said yes and then I was like well then I should be your girlfriend and I was it was just like very like what <laughs> but I was just like yeah I should be your girlfriend but if you want me to be your girlfriend you need to ask me like very like weird and like I was literally telling this kid how he was supposed to ask me to be his girlfriend and so a couple of minutes later, he comes around and he asks me, or he, yeah, he asked me, not axed, but axed. Anyways, he, he like told me like, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I was like, okay. And it was like heck of chill, right? So, uh, she ended up my, I think, I don't know who ended up writing this letter, but we are boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, yay. And, you know, I had no idea what being boyfriend and girlfriend was. I was just so excited that I think a couple days later, maybe the next day, I want to say, I think this took course over like a weekend, maybe a week, who knows. But I remember the next Saturday that I had seen my cousins had came over to my aunt's, or to my grandma's house where my aunt was living, because my aunt is just four years older than me, by the way. Um, so my cousins went over to my aunt's house or to my grandparents' house, and they were all there, and I decided, I was just like, oh my gosh, I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. And and I literally remember telling, when I told them, it was, I felt like, I don't know, I, it just felt like the greatest thing. Because I was like, man, now I have something I can relate with you guys, <laughs> you know? I don't know, it was just really weird. Um, so then that ended up happening. So then some, I guess, when he had asked me to be his girlfriend, um, I don't remember who, someone wrote a letter that said like Bianca plus his name, a, we're calling him Johnny like I said, Bianca plus Johnny on a piece of paper or something like that or like Bianca loves Johnny or Johnny loves Bianca, something like that. I don't quite remember what it was. So then my best friend's mom ended up finding the paper and so she ended up telling, who did she tell? I don't remember if she told the priest or a priest that's very close to our family or she ended up telling my parents and then I'm not sure how that happened but then the next time we went to like an event a church event and my parents were there and his family was there and like everyone was there the priest decides to take me and this kid Johnny um, outside so then the priest decides to tell or like to get me and Johnny Johnny and um he tells us like you guys know you guys are too young to be dating you guys are like not old enough to get married and all this and this and that and I just remember feeling so embarrassed because I was just like man like 
I didn't know that's what boyfriending, that's what that meant, you know? Um, so like I literally, I again, I was so clueless as to what being boyfriend, girlfriend was. So that's why I don't think it counts. Um, but yeah, the priest like talked to us and was just like, yeah, you guys, are, you guys are too young to be dating. You guys should not be dating. And I guess that was kind of how we broke up. <laughs> I don't even know. But that's what ended up happening. And it was just the funniest thing of life. Like now I can look at it and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like that's awkward. But again, yes, I am not... I don't think I would be as demanding as I as I was now and I'm just like eh, whatevs but then I was like if you want me to be your girlfriend you need to ask me this way anyways so I just thought that was a funny story so I thought I would share a little bit of my interesting child life with you guys so yeah thank you all for watching this talk Tuesday video and I will see you all in the next one or in the next video why do I always do that at the end? Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.